Welcome to the Creating Grid Formats tutorial. To create a grid format, let us access the Work with Addresses application. Please note that your ability to create a grid format depends on whether or not your system administrator has enabled you to do so. If you do not see the personalized grid icon in the grid, you do not have the permissions to personalize the grid. Here, let us click the personalize grid icon. The system displays the grid format manager side panel. For now, let us leave the name as create. We will provide a name when we save the grid format. Select the set as default option if you want to set the grid format as your default grid format. In the display and order section, you can choose to display the field in the order as required. For this tutorial, let us choose to display address number, alpha name, long address and industry class. And let us remove the remaining fields. You can use these up and down icons to change the order of display in the grid. Now let us look into the column format section. For example, let us select the address number as the column to design. Notice that the selected column field is populated automatically with the value as address number. Next, we will select the column color and text color. To do so, let us click in the column color and text color field and then select the required colors. Again, notice that the color we selected for the address number field and text is updated in the selected column field. You can change the width of the column by entering the percentage value in the column width field. Let us leave it as 100. We can choose the options here to change the text format to bold, italic, underline or strikeout. Let us choose bold option. And now the selected column again changes to reflect the changes we just made. We can change the sort sequence of the grid in the data sequencing section. To sort on a column, click the column name in the available columns list and then click the right arrow. The system moves the column name from the available columns list to the sequenced columns list. A column must be included in the grid, that is, its name must appear in the display and order list before you can sort on it. If you do not want to sort on a column, click the column name in the sequenced column list and then click the left arrow. The system moves the column name from the sequenced column list to the, to the available columns list. To rearrange the order of sort precedence, use the up and down arrows under the sequenced columns list to rearrange the column names. The system first sorts by the column at the top of the list, then by the column second from the top and so forth. To sort column values in ascending order, click the column name in the sequenced columns list and se select the ascending checkbox. If you leave the ascending checkbox blank, the system sorts the column in descending order. An A appears next to the column names to be sorted in ascending order and a D appears next to the column names to be sorted in descending order. Select the advanced options and then select the default format for mobile device checkbox if you want to set the grid format as the default grid format for your mobile device. To finish creating the new grid format, click the save icon and then enter a new name for the grid format. We will enter demo grid format as the name and then click OK. Once you have created your grid format, it appears under the personal heading. At this point, this grid format is available only to you. You can modify this grid format if required using the save option and also you can modify it and save it with a different name using the save as option or delete it. You must request to publish your grid format if it is going to be used by others. Select the request to publish icon.
Now, the grid format we created appears under the pending approval heading. This grid format must be approved by a system administrator. For more information on user-defined objects approval process, please see the Approving User-Defined Objects tutorial. This completes creating grid formats in Enterprise 1 tutorial.